My name is Ed Leote. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Tamiami Citrus. We have approximately 5,000 acres spread out through Central and South Florida. Florida is a very unique state. In the areas that we farm, we get approximately 57 inches of rain a year, which is enough to grow any crop, but unfortunately we have a wet season and a dry season. We are using propane units not only to irrigate with, but in our South Florida location, we have to pump field water out in the reservoir. We have a propane pump that discharges from a canal that's set to turn on at six feet and turn off at four and a half feet. That keeps my water table where I need it to be. So with my propane unit, I can get the top water off, run it real hard, and then as it goes down, our specialized float defrottles the engine. Citrus is a big deal in the state of Florida. When I first came on board, uh, they were buying groves, abandoned groves, old groves. Tell me Citrus is doing is coming in and we're making a new grove. Our investment in the citrus industry is, is a long-term one. Propane fits into our business culture of sustainability. We can count on propane, which is U.S. source, to be available to us during any period of time for a long period of time. My name is Gary Gray. I'm the agriculture project engineer for U.S. Sugar. We have about 245,000 acres of production cane ground. Managing the water for us is critical. Sugar cane, when you have too much water on, is, is terrible. And when you don't have enough on, obviously, it's not good. So we have to control the water level consistently as, and as well as we can. We cannot release it until we meet a certain standard. And that water is always cleaner when it leaves than when it comes. We have about 660 pump stations. Propane, we have six power units as far as U.S. sugar is concerned. We have the ability to move about 8 million gallons a minute. So as we see results from the propane units that we do have, the more hours, the better. As propane has proven to us, uh, we will continue to use it. Definitely the very first thing I saw right off the bat was the lack of after-treatment systems. Typically, tier four final emission standards, you have DPF filters, SCR systems, and just an enormous monstrosity of exhaust after-treatment systems where the propane power units, you have one basic catalyst unit. We're looking at it from two different points of view. The initial purchase was definitely cheaper. We're looking for the economic impact, obviously, and the environmental impact. U.S. Sugar has such a large footprint on South Florida. I mean, it's very important that we take care of the environment and the environment takes care of us. Propane provides a number of advantages. Uh, one is, is it's clean and it's environmentally friendly. In a state like Florida, that's very important. Perk has worked with a number of engine manufacturers to bring new engines to the market. These engines are built from the ground up to run on propane, which makes them extremely efficient, extremely reliable, and an extremely good choice for ag operation. We compared the cost of those units uh, to tier four diesel units, and the propane engines want hand down. Sustainability is a bottom line good business decision. Uh, we look at using our inputs to their maximum effectiveness, and propane is one sprocket on the wheel. As a native Floridian and a farmer here, uh, the land and the environment has got to be number one. You can't mistreat your land and expect to grow a crop on it continually and make a living to support your family. Being in Florida, everybody enjoys the woods and the beaches and the coastlines. We're definitely going to do everything and anything we can to preserve what we've got here.